Okay, I'm going to do a video on sports today. Now, I don't know what I'm going to discuss, but uh, I'll come up with something. And it's been a while since I've written in my sports blog, and I'll get to that. Try to uh, write some stuff in there and try to get to that. that. Now, as you all know, I'm going to talk about... Uh, Let's see, who can I talk about today? Let me just go into details about this, uh, what went down in, uh, world, I don't know, world soccer or something. I'm not so sure. But, uh, I'm running out of topics, though. I'm going to talk about, maybe I'll talk about boxers and that. Now, as you all know, a lot of fighters often, they uh, end up in pro careers and they end up going broke when their boxing career is over. Now, I've uh, heard a lot of stories about boxers going broke. Muhammad Ali was one example. I think he went broke. I mean, he made a whole lot of money and he became so generous. And he gave away a lot of his funds. And um, I think, um, I think Pernod Winokur went broke too, but I'm not so sure. And I'll do a future, I'll do a video about him in the future. But uh, a lot of, like many pro athletes, most boxers, they end up going broke maybe due to the decisions that they made or maybe due to the purchases that they have made after making so much money or they maybe they owe some money in taxes to the IRS oftentimes the IRS as I remember I did a video about Roberto Duran and he ran into some problems with the IRS and so did um, Floyd Mayweather Jr., but he, I don't know, they probably worked something out. But most boxers that go broke, they spend a whole lot of their money, funds. I mean, look at Mike Tyson, he went broke. He filed for bankruptcy protection. And Tommy Hitman Hearns, he filed for bankruptcy as well. I think it's maybe, it's not just the spending that they do, but the, um, the people that they hire to look after their money. That's one major major reason why they end up going broke. So um, I guess this is a lesson. It's not only the basketball players and the football players that have to, uh, baseball players too, that have to watch their funds. Boxers, pro boxers have to watch their funds and they have to hire the right set of right kinds of people to look after their money because like anything else good things come to an end even pro boxing careers come to an end and uh, got to follow the examples of Sugar Ray Leonard and Floyd Mayweather Jr. maybe Oscar De La Hoya but I don't, I don't care about him this is mainly to the brothers Okay, that box. Hire the right business people and basically just try to keep an eye on your money. Because um, most black boxers, they end up going broke, anyways. I'm not saying that all races do. Some white boxers go broke too. But oftentimes they have something to fall back on. The black boxers do not. Oftentimes they don't. So, yeah, that's just a little bit of boxing talk I would, I thought I would bring up just to give myself something to do, something to discuss in the sports. Adios.